hi welcome to another video in this video I, I'm going to show you how you can display dynamic data from MetaField in the Shopify section everywhere so this is one of the coolest feature without touching your code you can display dynamic data from MetaField inside the section everywhere in Shopify store 2.0 so let's see how we can do this one here I have this Nike product which I imported just for demo the thing is it has a lot of description in here what I want to do is I want to display more feature or more benefit inside a meta field and then I will display it at the bottom of the page if someone scroll down I want to display it up there instead of here so what I will do is I'll go back to the product in here first I'll find, find my product which is this Nike product and this is the benefit that we have here so I'm going to create a meta field for this one. Currently we have one excerpt which we added in the previous videos but I'm going to add another one called features. You can create as many as you want but in this video I'll give you more example of what is possible. We will go to the setting. Uh, from here we go to meta field. In the product I'll create a separate definition for this one. I'll call it features. Since this is going to store the features about my product or the shoes that we have here from the content type we will select text you can select every other one date uh, like date time color and json or any other thing from here which are completely dynamic you can store it like here uh, one of the other cool things that i saw in here was the the file which you can upload any type of file which you want pdf SVG any type of file that you can select you can directly select from here So we will select the text for this one and you can you have the option of selecting a Single line or multi line which I'll select multi line and again You will add some additional rule for the user how much like text they can put that way your website design will look much nicer If you give them some rule they, they cannot add a long text so they can have a limited but for this one since we are just ex like uh, experimenting it is totally fine we added this one I'll come to my product and let's copy this more benefits I will just cut everything from here and you can see we copy everything I'll save it and this time it should load the new meta field in here when you click view all this is the feature now if I open feature it does not have the VisiWig editor that is one of the missing part. I wish it has this WYSIWYG editor where you can make the product list, link, or any uh, other design. But if you put an H, like we copied the HTML, and if you paste the HTML in here, it is not going to look really nice. So what I will do is I'll come back here. Uh, will actually the thing is if I preview this, let's see if it has still those information. Yes, it does. I'm going to just copy this text here. I'm not going to copy everything. Uh, okay. I'll be back here and I'll paste the features in here. Now, as I said, it doesn't have the VisiWig editor. So, what you can do if you want them to show as a dot line, here is the tips I can show you. You can go to this website for copying the symbols. It is not the best way to do this one, but I can copy the symbol like the dot symbol. And then I'll come to my product edit here. I'll add it at the beginning of each of these lists. So this is one. I don't know what was the second one. Okay, I hope it was this one. Style. And then I paste for this one too. And then I'll save it. We will be back. And let's go to the theme editor and add it dynamically. So I'll come to the theme customizer. We will add a section we will use the text with image and the data for this one should be dynamic as I said we will just pick a random color this is not the feature of this product this should be small so the heading you can of course connect the heading to a meta field from here insert dynamic source but I'll put this one as features and for the text that we have here I want the text to be dynamic so you have to remove everything you have here click this database icon which can which lets you select a meta field now these are the meta fields 
let that we have here features you can add more meta fields title window there are the product data i'll pick the features insert it and yeah here is what you can see this is the data which is coming from a meta field and it will be dynamic um, depending on which product you are which makes a lot of like a lot of development um, features easy you can see it is here this is also showing here and if I save it like I, as I said it is very buggy why is it showing here I didn't add it for you yeah it is gone now okay fine it saved it and it is working just fine now if you are creating a product and your product has a feature uh, meta field this data will be different based on the template you are so yeah that's it for the dynamic source in store 2.0 i hope it has been informative thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video